What up everyone, Nathan here coming at you with another video. Today, we're gonna react to something absolutely insane, guys. So, I stumbled upon an Inger post and it's titled, How to Attend E3 for Free. And I was like, what the fuck, I have to watch this. I've been trying to attend E3 so much, trying to get some passes from connections, all that. And I heard this year, they were letting the public into E3, but look at the price of tickets. Like $1,000 for three days just as a regular person. Plus the cost of getting into LA and all that stuff. But we're not even going to talk about that. If you guys don't know what E3 is, E3 is basically the biggest conference for gaming. If you're a gamer, you want to go there, trust me. So the story starts like that. Those are two dudes that want to get to E3 for free. And what they say is that a few days before E3, we did some research on what the food slash drink setup would be like and decided that going in dressed as bartenders slash general hope would be the best route. We had most of the clothes and a friend of mine loaned us an apron. So basically those two dudes were like, dude, there's catering in those places. And yeah, there is like, there's hot dot stangs, there's like people saying drinks, ice cream, all that shit. And they were like, yo, let's dress up as that. And usually those people are not like, they don't have like fancy stuff. They're just all in black wearing apron, just looking like normal people, right? And then they were like, yo, let's get to E3. So they go to E3, and they say that. After showing up to the LA Expo Center downtown, uh, and searching for parking for 30 minutes, we should have Ubered. <laughs> we found that going through the garage was the best point of entry. So they went through the garage, guys. Like, they went into the garage and just decided to go. The guard asked us what we were doing. Of course, like, what the fuck are you doing? So we told them we went. Uh, we were temp hires. We didn't have much information. And we were late to get into the Galaxy Lounge in the West Hall. So I actually want to know when they showed up because I feel like those catering companies usually show up before the doors even open to uh, like just to get set up, to turn on the fridges and get the cold drinks on and all that stuff. So I actually wonder when the, when did they show up? That's, <laughs> that's insane. So he led us through and immediately we were shocked. No fucking bet. But we kept our cool and walked into the convention with confidence. So basically two dudes walked uh, wearing full black, one uh, wearing an apron, they went through the garage, and the guy was like, yeah, we're working, but we're like, hours late, and they still got in, glad that they didn't shock, because if you, this is the moment where you have to keep cool, like, you have to say, yo, I work here, man, I have to get in, no matter what, uh, that's crazy, and you gotta know that the security at this convention, in, in particular, is insane, like, it's in the biggest convention center in the US, I think, LA Convention Center is one of the biggest, and it's like so hard to get in. Not that I tried to, but I can only imagine. So here's the two dudes again, just flexing and be like, yo, we got here for free. <laughs> hey. We made it. Like it, it must be funny to be them and be like, you look at people and they're like, oh, you guys paid a thousand dollars. Oh, that's cool, that's cool, man, that's cool. So yeah, let's move on. Once we were inside, we found out that what the name of the catering service and used that information to get a lady at an information booth to walk us through security. So they're like, oh, there's a, there's this thing here. Like, let's just say we work here and that's it. And surprisingly enough, a lady from a conference room asked, asked to place an order with us. <laughs> that's insane. She was like, yo, uh, I need two burgers, uh, three orders of fries and two, uh, two sodas. We took it and went for to the kitchen nearby and gave the order to the kitchen manager. So they went to the front desk, asked to be walked through security. They ended up getting someone's order, walking into the kitchen and actually telling the kitchen manager what the order was. Well, she questioned us a bit of who we were, but we didn't break. Give her our middle names in place uh, of our first names. Didn't want to lie too much. Oh, yeah. Okay, you already hijacked a thousand dollar. You already walked into a place that is supposed to be sec like maximum security. Uh, wow, I know weird. <laughs> you bet. And and went in our way. We tried to get into the Sony slash Nintendo room, but was denied entry due to the lack of conference badges and almost got kicked out. So I guess like E3 works like this: like you go into the main convention center, and then when you want to get in, they just recheck your badges just to make sure you're here for a reason and that you have your badges. So some some places they couldn't go, I guess, and some places they they could go. That's that's still not bad. I mean, as long as you can like attend the actual convention center, I'm pretty sure you're good. So then there's a photo next to Destiny 2, that's all she wrote. <laughs> so at the end it says, we almost gave up. 
but decided to go back the way we initially entered. Once we were back on the main floor, we figured out not to try to get into the main conference room of Microsoft, Activision, Ubisoft, etc. So those are the biggest companies uh, exposing their stuff uh, at E3. If we couldn't get in, we still had a good time, so we monitored the, f the door and saw that out of every five people entering the main room, only one person badge was getting scanned. That's something as well that I noticed is that because there's a lot of like people slow and like people want to try to get in and get out, sometimes we ask the guard to just scan one out of five people or sometimes it's just an initial rule like, yo, one out of five people, I will scan it. But it usually works like that. It works like that. Even in concerts sometimes or like festivals, it actually works like that sometimes. So I totally believe that. So yeah, so we casually just got into a crowd of people and walked in. It was an amazing feeling being surrounded by the sets for games like Marvel vs. Capcom to Shadow of War. But most importantly, we got to see the Destiny 2 set up and watch a bunch of gameplay. Mm, that's cool. The best thing about all that was getting into a fun slash risky trip with one of my best friends and if only cost us a parking fee of $4 to attend E3 for free. That, ladies and gentlemen, is absolutely fucking impressive. Props to them, guys. Honestly, wow. Like, attending E3 for free, it's like, you know, when there's like Tomorrowland, when there's like Ultra Festival, there's always someone posting a video of how they got it for free. And it's always the stupidest, like, most obvious, simple stuff. And that again, it shows like you don't have to like work a fucking like sprint to sell sort of like plan. Like just walk in with confidence, be like, yo, I work here, I gotta do my thing, just let me in. And you just gotta chill. Like as long as you keep your calm, you will be fine. I'm not telling people to get into conferences for free, but I'm saying it's worth the shot. Like if you can't afford $1,000 for a ticket, you might as well try. Like what is the worst thing that can happen? If you live in LA, of course, like you're not gonna travel and take the risk. But if you live in LA, the guy's just gonna tell you, yo, uh, GTFO, you have nothing to do here, and you just go home, and that's it. Or you might get in, and you might see some cool gameplay, play Destiny 2, and all that stuff. So, yeah, I just wanted to share this story with you guys. I thought it was really fun, and honestly, props to these dudes. They didn't leave their name or anything, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna go viral. Uh, this is actually insane guys and well we don't know maybe next year I'll do the video and I'll vlog it and I'll get into E3 for free uh, we never know alright that was it guys I will put the link down below if you want to see it for yourself uh, thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you for the next video cheers it's going down, yeah, in the kingdom with my motherfucking crown. Uh.